Hello everyone, I'm Rui Guo from Tianjin University. Here, I will present our work, Inflation Improves Graph Neural Networks. My presentation is divided into the following parts. I will start with the introduction to our research problem. Graph is a data structure that models a set of objects as nodes and their relationships as edges. It is common in many practical application situations, such as social networks. The performance of traditional deep learning methods on such data is unsatisfactory, while graph neural networks has become a widely applied graph analysis method recently. It has the ability to learn good representations by taking into account both the features of the graph and the topological information. For example, the citation network CORA could be the adjacency matrix A nodes and the field dimension D as X. The existing representative works such as GCN, GAT, and GraphSage have greatly influenced the research of graph learning, and almost all of them follow a unified message passing framework. It learns node representation by aggregating features from neighborhoods, CJ, and combining with the original node embeddings, CI. For GCN, after the feature's propagation, linear transformation and nonlinear operations are performed to obtain the node representation set that will be input to the next layer. The embeddings of this iteration process could be used for various tasks such as classification, link prediction, and uh, so on. While some graph neural networks such as GCN may encounter the over-smoothing problems when stacking multiple layers in a graph model. The left picture is the distribution of the embeddings learned by the model with a two-layer GCN, and the right one is the result of a six-layer GCN. It can be obviously observed that the node representations of all categories are already indistinguishable from each other. We attribute the occurrence of over-smoothing to the noise propagation in the topology of the graph. First, the message passing mechanism of graph neural networks works based on the homophily assumption. That is, nodes with the same class are prone to connect to each other. Nodes with the same class share similar features, so message passing helps to learn better representations for nodes via message passing over topology. While the ideal situation is unlikely to occur in real datasets, that fully connected graphs certainly do not satisfy this assumption. We consider the propagation between different classes as noise propagation. The intra-class data distribution means that with the transformation of data, the features of the nodes within the same class remain similarly, similarly distributed, and the distributions between different classes remain different. The noise propagation weakens the intra-class data distribution represented by each layer and leads to the failure of classification. We will recall the classic unsupervised graph algorithms and find solutions from them. The first is the affinity propagation algorithm. With the message of responsibility network and availability network propagating between edges, AP can calculate the cluster exemplar to which each sample belongs to. It achieves hundreds of iterations of message passing on the graph through a design that updates between the two metrics. The second one is the Markov clustering algorithm. It simulates random walks with a graph by alternation of two operators called the expansion and deflation. Expansion coincides with taking the power of a stochastic matrix using the normal matrix product. Inflation corresponds with taking the Hadamard power of a matrix, followed by a scaling step, such that the resulting matrix is stochastic again. 
The deflation design enables the MCL to have the ability of resharpening those transition probabilities, and it can also achieve thousands times of massive casting with a clear clustering result. We want to find an inspiration to deepen graph neural networks, message passing in an easier way from them. Here, we propose that MCL and the graph neural networks encounter the same problem of smoothing. For MCL, after only eight random works as shown, the transition probabilities of nodes are completely consistent, which cannot represent the clustering results on the graph. It means that only expansion or the random work will cause smoothing problems for graph learning. At the same time, graph neural networks face the same problem that node representations tend to be indistinguishable rather than the transition probabilities. We regard the massive passing or the convolution of the graph as the expansion in MCL. Then we can use the same inflation method to resharpen the representation of nodes. The inflation layer acts directly on the node representations between convolutional layers. It aims at resharpening the node representations in a smoothing trend to make them expressive again. Similar to the MCL, the inflation layer takes the power of the representation vector on each node and normalizes the representations. Based on the inflation layer, we propose a new convolution process that cancels the original nonlinear function. It has three steps. It has three steps: aggregation, combination, and inflation with an exponential value e as the hyperparameter. For each iteration, nodes firstly receive the messages from its neighbors, and the combination performs the linear transformation on the received information and gets the embeddings. Then, inflation resharpens the intermediate hidden layers and maintains interclass distribution of nodes. Our design has good generalization that all message passing models can be improved with it, and it only needs simple changes. Here, we discuss why inflation works. For special graph neural networks, node representations are learned by convolution that neighboring nodes exchange representations with each other. Then, the noise refers to the information from nodes that do not meet the homophily assumption. As the number of convolutions increases, all nodes receive relevant noise information and the representation tend to be smooth. While, when faced with noise, inflation can ignore the interference of a small proportion of noise and resharpen the representations of the intermediate layer. For, probabil for probability distribution, we treat the node features as the probability distribution vectors to be classified. The probability is propagated between nodes and can affect the classification distribution of neighbors. Oversmoothing means that all nodes share the same probability distribution. Inflation can resharpen the distribution and preserve the intra-class dis data distributions. If we analyze this problem from the perspective of random work, it is easy to find that as the random work deepens, the transition matrix of the else layer will converge to a fixed distribution because of the limit of matrix calculation as the MCL shows. Deflation layers changes the smoothing procedure of the self-multiplication to an iterative process of a matrix product and hard mode multiplication with scaling. And thus, it can avoid the convergence. Moreover, we need to make some changes on the basis of the MCL to make it suitable for graph neural networks. Due to the negative values introduced by random initialized parameters, may affect the semantics of representations when computing powers. We propose to use the softmax to map it between 0 and 1. Or we can use models with few parameters such as SGC, where no parameters are required during the message passing. 
And the softmax will make the propagation of gradients more difficult, especially when the number of layers is deepened. Therefore, we propose a hybrid model of emulation deflation and uh, non-linearity such as ReLU on the basis of the previous pure deflation mode. There are, there are also some existing methods that address the over-smoothing problem, such as the drop edge, GKNet, and the paranormal. They introduce the residual connection or take additional constraints on edges or nodes to solve it. While our flexible inflation approach do not need to make any changes to the existing models, it can resharpen the representation and reduce the effect of noise. To evaluate the effectiveness of our proposed method, we use three attributed citation networks, including Cora, Cypsea, and Palmac and three networks with all features, including Brazil, Europe, and the USA Air Force. Here is the classification results of our design, with the most widely used GCN compared to the model without inflation. It can be observed that our proposed methods show performance over GCNs on almost all layer settings. Moreover, we evaluate our design on the SGC and the best performance on three citation networks are chosen as four, four and eight layers. We make more ablation experiments on our proposed method. It shows that the softmax cannot improve the ability of GCNs as other activation functions do. On the contrary, too many exponential operations will increase the complexity and reduce the efficiency. But with our design, combined with the power-up operation and the normalization step, the inflation layer can replace the nonlinear activation function to increase the ability of expressiveness and achieve stronger model performance. Table 6 proves our design that for shallow models, Pure inflation has a little advantage while deeper models need the tail inflation design to perform well. Finally, I will summarize the main contribution of the work. We analyze the limitations of the graph neural networks training by regarding the feature propagation process of GNN as a Markov chain. We draw on the idea of the Markov cluster algorithm for graph clustering and suggested the inflation operation, a novel convolution strategy that improves graph neural networks against noise propagation. The proposed inflation layers ensure that the representation of nodes after deep graph neural networks processing can still remain distinguishable clearly. Inflation operation does not need any changes to the network architecture or additional parameters and it could be used in any graph neural network models with good generalizability. For future work, we think it is important to exploit the inspiration for graph neural networks from classic graph learning algorithms such as AP and MCL. Here is the main paper cited in the presentation. Thanks.